In 2008, Harold Schultz decided to step out of the corporate world and start working on something he is passionate about, renewable energy. This was the beginning of Suntoy, who have to date produced various solar-powered products, their most recent being the Sun Jar. The council came to me and they said, and they said we've got this jar and we want something that, that screws on top with the solar panel in it and a couple of lights so that it, it produces enough light to read by, i.e. a replacement for candles, but also that it can become a decorative item. So we then went and, and, and did, the, did the electronic design, did a number of prototypes, and then we ran into some problems, like for example, um, uh, it had to be waterproof. So there were certain specs that the client gave us. One of them was it had to be waterproof. And, and with it having to be waterproof, we then couldn't use a conventional little on-off switch. We came up with a magnetic on-off switch, which is, which is this little piece here. And then with the magnetic switch happening, you now have to mount that switch somehow. And uh, as I explained to you earlier on, I drink beer and I had Grolsch bottles on the table. And the Grolsch bottles got a little mechanism like this. And then I copied that and out came what we now use, I call the, the, the wire mechanism, which is a handle with a, with a, with a magnetic switch on it. And, and this now allows you, with the help of a rubber seal on the inside, to close it properly and switch it on, and turn the light on and off, and you've got no mechanical parts that can wear. Before Harold started the production phase of the sun jar, he went to China to find out someone who could make the solar power top for the jar. But instead of buying this part in China, which would have cut production costs dramatically, he decided to rather produce it locally. Well, I did have a look. I, I went to China last year before we set up the factory. Uh, because at that point we had two options. Either, either, either get that part in China and simply do the, the assembly in South Africa, put it on the jar, or manufacture this in South Africa. And when I went to China and had a look and I came back with the costing, and then I did the costing for South Africa and we ended up being about 30% more. But we're now employing 15 people on this product, whereas without that we would probably be employing two or three just to do the assembly side of things. Santoy are churning out around 10,000 sun jars a month. He has even had to employ two people full-time to make the wire mechanism of the jar. Now the, wire, the wire part was quite an interesting journey, yeah, because um, as I said, this, this little unit here, this is the, the, the uh, uh, magnet. And the magnet had to somehow energize uh, um, the, the, the solar top. So then I made, I made one set up by hand, and then I had to go find somebody who can make this for me. So I went to, we went to about six, seven bigger local companies that specialize in wire forming, and they weren't interested. They, they said the complexity was too much, so they, they wouldn't really do this. So then um, through, my, through my wife's connection, who's an artist, and she had a shop in, in Melville, and uh, through that she had made contact with local wire artists. So then I hired the local wire artists that are working for us to make the wire up. And there's two guys now employed full time, making nothing else but the but the wire part for this for the console solar jar. The future definitely looks bright for Harold Schultz and his team at Suntoy. So the, the the next thing for Suntoy, well, we we um, we've got another product that we're busy making. I always wanted to make a, a, a solar cell phone charger for all the smartphones, and then later on for the tablets like the iPads and so on. I think there's quite a market in South Africa for it. And that's now our next big project that's waiting for another console glass customer <laughs> to go into quantity, yeah.